Good morning all. Mary Bolger here, naturalist with Iowa County Conservation, and I want to welcome you to our virtual Critters Live. And as always, as you're watching this morning, if you have any questions, please put those in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, today we are going to be learning about a really neat bird that has been coming through because of our spring migration. We usually see them mid to late March in through April because they are migrating through right now. We're gonna be talking about the American white pelican. And this bird is one of the largest aquatic or water birds that we're going to see in the area. And the reason we're seeing them right now quite a bit and earlier in March is because when they migrate, they follow the um, Great Migration Flyways, the Mississippi Flyway that we are close to along different water routes. So along those big rivers um, area, through areas that have bodies of water, because that is where they find all of their food um, and shelter and protection. So we see them here because we have lots of great rivers and bodies of water um, that they're attracted to. And so I'm gonna hold this picture just a little bit closer so we can talk a little bit about the ID of the American white pelican here. So they are a large white bird. Um, their wingspan from tip to tip is about eight feet. Can you believe that? So eight feet from one tip of their wing to the other. Um, <clears throat> mostly white except on the edge of their wings. We have that kind of black trimmed feathers and so we can kind of ID them because of that. They also, <clears throat> because they're an aquatic bird, they're very large. They have those webbed feet, which we can see here, large webbed feet. And then they have a very, very distinct beak. And we'll take a look, a closer look at the beak here in just a moment and talk a little bit more about that. Um, but they are just a large bird, eight foot wingspan, and they weigh right around 10 pounds. So one of the largest birds that we're gonna find around here um, in Iowa along our waterways. So taking a closer look here, um, this is a pair of pelicans, uh, white pelicans. And we can kind of see a little bit of a difference in their beak. So they have a long um, bone structure, of course, to their beak. But underneath, they have a big pouch that expands. And we'll see a picture of this just a little bit later. Um, we can tell that these are actually male pelicans because of this little bump or the protrusion on the top of their beak. Um, and you can see um, that beak is mostly yellow and orange. Um, their feet are orange, very distinct kind of characteristic. And that, that big beak and that big pouch helps them when they are catching food. We'll take a close look at those pictures here. I actually have something, uh, an object that I wanna share with you here. Um, this is a pelican um, skull replica, and it's hard to get in my, my whole picture frame here, so I'll have to move it a little bit. Um, so this is not a real skull from a white pelican, but a replica. That means it's the same size and shape, color, but it's made of plastic. And so let's take a close look here at the beak replica. So their skull, is actually fairly small. Um, they're mostly fluff and feathers, so it looks a little bit bigger when, you are, when you're looking at it. They have large eye openings. They use their vision quite a bit. Um, they have small nostrils. You can see most birds don't really have a good sense of smell, so they don't really use their smell at all when they're fishing. But most of their structure is this big, long beak. Um, at the end of their beak, they have a little bit of a protrusion. They actually use that a little bit for protrusion. They are um, fishing. They'll, of course, open their beak. What we don't have right here is that big pouch underneath. Let's take a look at what that big pouch looks like. Um, so here we have a um, white pelican that is in the water. They're aquatic, of course. Um, and they are known for using that big pouch to scoop up water and fish or other aquatic animals when they're hunting, um, and that's how they find their food. Um, 
Now, they like to be in, they are not solitary birds, so they like to be in large groups. And so here we have a large group of pelicans. When you see them flying or soaring through the air, kind of like eagles or turkey vultures do, um, they will um, look really large up in the air. Sometimes as they're circling around, they will disappear a little bit because of their color, that light color up in the sky. And then when they come back around um, a little bit more, you can see them again. But they like to be in big groups and they flock up in big groups and they actually will use this when they are hunting. So that means that um, they will fish together and they'll do something um, called schooling the fish. So they'll come down into the water, they'll land in the water, um, they'll gather up in big groups like this, and then they will school the fish. So they'll kind of corral them into shallow waters um, like this, and then they will use that big beak, that um, big pouch, and they will scoop up the water and they will scoop up the fish and the water is able to drain out of their big pouch here. We can definitely see it in this picture. And the fish, they will swallow. So this pelican has a very large fish right here. Their pouch is expandable. You can see um, how stretchy and big it is. If we kind of compare it, let's look at one of our other pictures that we have of that pelican. Um, when they're just flying, um, it looks much smaller, right? But it's expand, it's very elastic and very stretchy. Um, and then they swallow those fish. This is quite a, quite a large one right here. Um, and they'll, you know, do that together. So when they collectively hunt together, um, it allows them to find more food or catch more food. Um, now I have some feathers that I wanna share with you. These feathers are not from a white pelican. Um, they are from something called a snow goose, but they look a lot like the pelican. So they have, we have these white feathers with this edge or this tip right here that is black. So imagine this one is about two and a half feet long. Um, one wing from a pelican is roughly about four feet long. So about twice this size. Um, the wing from a pelican would be. And the feathers on the pelican, because they are an aquatic bird, um, they use a special oil to make them waterproof that helps keep them dry and warm when they're down in the water. Now, when they're coming through right now, they are coming back up from the south because it's warmer down there. There's open water, they can find fish. They will actually breed here, partially in Iowa, and then up, even up into Canada. So um, we're in the breeding range of the white pelican. And when they breed, they actually breed in large groups too. They kind of have communal, um, they're called rookeries. So big groups of white pelicans along with some other, we can see some other birds, some cormorants, some egrets in here. Um, they are communal nesters. And so um, white pelicans will make their nests on the ground. They will scrape up some rocks or some um, mud and kind of make a nest. And they will lay usually one or two eggs because their young are very large. Their eggs are probably about two times as large as a chicken egg, so very large. When their young hatch, they are featherless. Their eyes are closed and they are helpless. And you can see that this nest is just kind of a scrape down in the ground with some sticks and rocks around it. And so they rely on their parents for everything that they need. Um, their parents will go out, they'll go on fishing trips, bring it back, and then they will come back and feed the young regurgitated fish when they're very, very young. Um, their eggs are usually laid one per day and so they don't hatch exactly at the same time. And so when they are young, um, parents take care of them and by the time they leave their parents' care of their nest, they are as large as the parents. Some of their feathers, um, when they start to grow those feathers are kind of grayish in color and then they will eventually get their adult plumage 
this all white coloration with their um, the edges of that black on their wings. When their wings are folded up and when they're down in the ground, we can't see those markings there as well. So white pelicans are a really neat bird that we're seeing quite a few come through. Some great places in the area if you wanna go bird watching and look for some pelicans um, along any river. So we have the both the Iowa River and the English River coming through. Right out here at Lake Iowa Park, we have them come and land on the lake to do some fishing and maybe stay for a few days and then continue on in their journey. Or um, if you go a little bit east of us, um, there is right along the Iowa River, the Hawkeye Wildlife Refuge, which is just above the Coralville Reservoir, where there's a huge kind of expanse of water. They love to stop there and um, do some fishing along their migration journey back up north. So um, be sure to go out and try to do some pelican um, viewing or bird watching and look for those pelicans. Usually in the fall time when they are migrating down south, um, there's a great festival that's kind of local here that the Iowa City Bird Club and the Audubon Society um, put on. It is called Pelican Fest. It's at Hawkeye Wildlife Refuge. So keep your eyes open for that. I think that we are going to have that this, um, this fall. So it's usually in early to mid-September um, where you can learn about pelicans and right out along the reservoir there. Um, I want to thank you very much for watching today and learning about the white pelican. If you have any picture or any questions, um, please put those in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see our past Critters Live, you can check our Facebook. They're all listed there as well as on our YouTube page. Just search Iowa County Conservation and then um, search for our Critters Live playlist. We also have another virtual program series called um, Virtual Nature Crafts where we do crafty things and activities to encourage people to get outdoors. Um, and last week we did um, seed starting and we're doing all kinds of fun things because it's Earth Day is coming up. We're doing all kinds of Earth Day crafts or recycled craft type things. So check those out both on our Facebook page and YouTube page as well. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.